now I'm doing a little bit of sightseeing. I have one of my best friends back from Oz in town. Uh, her name's Maddie and she has just moved over to Toronto. So she's come out to visit me and we're doing a bit of sightseeing. So I thought I'd bring you along and we could just have a little vlog of today. You can see some of the sights that I think are important that she's gonna go see and that we're gonna go see again. Um, so we're currently on our way out to Pato Lake. We stopped and got some Tim Hortons um, on the way there. Tim's is such a good, cheap, quick breakfast stop if you're coming to Canada. Um, but we're now out on the Icefields Parkway. If you don't know, this is a gorgeous road between Banff National Park and Jasper National Park. If you can, it's an absolute must do in the area. The sites are just gorgeous. But we're heading out to Pato first, then we're planning on doing Emerald Lake, Lake Louise. We're gonna do a little hike at Lake Louise that I've never done before. It's meant to be pretty easy and lovely views. So we'll take you along there too. We'll see if that's worth it or not. And then I think we're gonna go to my favorite restaurant in town tonight for dinner. So I'll take you through the day and we'll just show you what we get up to. For our first stop on the parkway, we've come out to the Crowfoot Glacier. It's a little stop. Now, when I drove this parkway in summer with a different friend, I bought the um, Gypsy Guide Guide Along Tour for the Icefields Parkway. So I'm playing that today for Mads, and it's a great play. It's a great like audio tour. It plays over your music, and it tells you where to stop. So I've stopped here to take a couple photos and show Maddie a glacier. Stop number two is at Bow Lake behind me. It is the first blue sort of lake Maddie has seen. And it, but it's gorgeous, but it is chilly today. <laughs> Our third stop for the day and the reason we're out on the parkway is for Pato Lake. I've made a few videos about this one before, but I think it's a must do stop on the parkway. So we're out of Pato now. This is one of my favorite lakes. It's gorgeous, but it is so much nicer if you can come here for like sunrise or sunset when it's a bit quieter. Lining up for a photo kind of takes the magic out of it a little bit, but it is really pretty. We're all finished up at Pedro Lake now. It was just a quick stop because we have a few others on the itinerary for today. So we're gonna drive back down the Icefields Parkway. This is as far as we're coming today. Um, if you come, I would recommend coming at least to here. If you can keep going all the way to the glacier and you have a full day just on the parkway, absolutely do it, especially in summer. In winter, you can't really see it because it's pretty snow covered. Like their season is primarily summer to see it. Um, but we're heading off to Emerald Lake now. So that is in Yoho National Park. So we're gonna go there. It is trying to snow here, but we're pretty high, so I think we'll get out of it soon. So I've driven for about 40 minutes, approximately, from Pato Lake out to Emerald Lake. We're not at Emerald Lake yet, but once you're coming out here, you go straight past Natural Bridge. Now this is just a quick little get out of the car, have a look stop. It's another seven kilometers to Emerald Lake, but it is beautiful. It's so nice regardless of whether it's winter or summer. It fully freezes in winter, which is really cool to see, but I'll show you what it looks like now. Our next stop for the day is Emerald Lake. We have come out here now and it is beautiful. I think this is a really underrated lake as well. It does still get really busy here, but I think it's just gorgeous. I came canoeing here uh, early in the year with my parents and just absolutely beautiful. It's so funny though, the water here changes so much. Like, I don't know if you can see it right now, but you can see through the water. Like it is pretty clear. You can see the logs sitting in the bottom, etc. When I came here earlier in the year, 
so green, so cloudy because of all the rock flower. I assume it's because it comes down um, in the snow melt and that's what gives you like the beautiful color. Uh, but it obviously like fades off during the season and it gets clearer. So conditions are always changing out here. I think any time of the year you come, it's so beautiful. But if you come a different time of the year, it's gonna be a completely different experience. So we're all finished up at Emerald Lake. So far, Maddie said she likes this one better than Pado. So we're gonna head to Lake Louise now though, and we'll see what the overall ranking of all three is. No wildlife spotted yet today, unfortunately, but it's been pretty nice, it hasn't rained. So we're happy about that. So I've come out to Lake Louise and we have just done the Fairview Lookout hike. It is pretty short, I think it's about 1.2k up and then obviously 2.4 return. But we have these incredible views of Lake Louise. Now I know there's a lot of hiking in this area. Some of my favorites are like Big Beehive, like Agnes Tea House, Plain of Six Glaciers are all really, really popular. But if you're looking for something a lot shorter because you're short on time or don't want to commit to a long hike, this one is amazing. Mm -hmm. 